Hello everyone, you're watching Complete Guide to Swarpstat, a series of videos where I show you everything there is to know about Swarpstat. In the previous videos I explained to you how to create a project, how to analyze domains, how to analyze URLs, how to work with keyword research, and how to work with backlink analysis. Today I'm going to show you how to create a rank tracking project and how to work with these features. To create a rank tracking project you have to go to your list of projects. If you don't know how to create a project go and watch the first video or contact our support. You can always start a chat by clicking this green button and ask your questions. Once you have your project, just go and click the Start Tracking button. This will open a menu of creating a project. You can choose a project name and a time zone. Time zone will affect the time of updating the ranking information. So choose your time zone and will update information about the keywords at midnight in your time zone. Then you can add this to the project group and add your competitors. You don't have to add your competitors to monitor their rankings. You will track every competitor for every keyword anyways. The only difference is, if you add a competitor here, competitor's website will be highlighted in the rank tracking reports. You can decide if you want to track the rankings of subdomains for those websites or just the main websites. I'm going to remove subdomains for this rank tracking project. Once you're done with the initial setup, go and click continue. This is where you have to choose the search engine you want to track the rankings in and the region. In Serpset, you can track rankings in country, region and city. So I'm going to choose United States, California and Los Angeles. Once you decided which region you want to track, don't click continue just yet, first add that region to your project and then you can add some more and then compare the rankings in different regions. So I'm going to add another one, Florida and Miami, and I'll be tracking keyword rankings for both of these locations. Now you can click continue and get to the next step. This is the most important step, you have to choose which keywords you want to track. If you don't know where to find the keywords, go and watch one of the previous lessons where I show you how to work with keyword research in Sharpstat. Usually you want to add the keywords here that you want to target with your website and the keywords for which your website already ranks. Sharpstat automatically creates a list of keywords for which website ranks, so you can add them here or you can go and analyze your website and copy the list of keywords and paste that list here. You can paste the keywords manually or you can import them from CSV and TXT files. Also, when you're adding keywords, you can select tags and mark the list of keywords with tags, which is very useful for market share analysis. I will show you how to work with it later in this video, but first let's create the list of keywords and mark it with a tag. First, I'm going to add a list of keywords which don't include the word WordPress, and I'm going to mark these keywords with the tag general. To add these keywords to your project, don't forget to click on the add button. Once you do that, you will see your list of keywords on the right here, you will see them marked with the tag channel, and at the top you will see how many limits you will use. I have 106 keywords, and I track them in two separate regions, in Miami and Los Angeles, so that doubles my limits. Now I'm going to add a second group of keywords related to WordPress, and I will create a WordPress tag for them. Again, once you're done here, click Add, and these keywords will be added to the list on your right. Now you can see that I have 150 keywords here, some of them are marked with the WordPress tag and some of them are marked with the general tag. Once you're done adding keywords, go and click continue. Next step is picking the schedule for your rank tracking. You can track your positions daily, every 3 days or every 7 days, depending on your needs. I'm going to track these keywords daily. On the next step, you can share access to your project with your clients or your colleagues. You can add admins and users. If you decide to add someone, they will receive an invitation email and they will be able to access the project. Admins can edit the project, add and remove keywords, and users can just browse the results of the rank tracking. If you don't want to add anyone, just skip this step and you're done with setting up the rank tracking project. Now you can click on view the project, you can see that the search volume is loading and positions for some of the keywords are loading as well. I don't feel like waiting until it's done, plus you need a few days worth of data to work with the competitor supports, so I'm just going to switch to a different project, the one I've been using as my test project for a while, and I can show you how everything works with that project. So here's the project, this is the one for IKEA.bg or IKEA Bulgaria. I'm tracking keywords into locations here, I have a few tags here, I have a list of keywords, some of them are in Bulgarian, but that shouldn't be a problem. So let me show you what you get from the rank tracking reports. This is our overview page, it starts with the keyword position distribution, you have seen it in the domain analysis and URL analysis, it just shows you how many keywords from the ones that you are tracking you rank for at the top 1 position, top 3, top 5, and so on. Then you have information on how many keywords you track, for how many keywords you haven't changed the position since the last update, then the number of keywords for which your positions have improved, number of keywords for which your positions have dropped, number of new keywords and number of lost keywords. 
New keywords will appear here if you add some keywords to your project and start ranking for them. And last keywords are the keywords for which you stop ranking in top 100 of Google results. Below these numbers you have your list of keywords. You can use filters to sort them, you can add new keywords, you can use operations such as removing a keyword or assigning a new URL to it. You have to choose which keywords you want to uh, perform the operations on and then choose what you want to do with those keywords. You can use search and then you can click here to get the data for three more days. Let's do that. As you can see, the list have updated and now have data for positions for three time periods. Now let's take a closer look at the list of keywords. So you have the keyword itself here, you have a column for tags, you can add a new tag or remove it. Uh, also you can see that I have some tags for keywords here already. Then you see the position of a keyword. This keyword, the one at the top, the domain doesn't rank for in top 100 results. Therefore you don't see any results here except for the search volume and you have a flat line in history. For the rest of the keywords you will see the position of your domain, you will see how the position was changing. You will also get the search volume and on the history graph you will see if your positions for the keyword are growing or dropping. By clicking on the keyword from the list you will get more complete information about the keyword rankings. You will see top 100 domains for a keyword for the period of time that you've chosen. Your own domain will be highlighted in this list. Uh, you can barely see it because our developers didn't fix it, it should be in the green color. But anyways, and if you added any competitors to your ranked ranking projects, th their websites will also be highlighted in this list. Also, you can see how the positions of the domain were changing over time. For example, you can see here that this domain has lost the position and then gained it back. So you can analyze how your positions are changing for a certain keyword. At the top of the list, you can change the days for which you want to check the keyword rankings. You can analyze more days and see how the positions were changing over the month. It's going to look something like this. And also up here, we have a link which will take you to the sort for the keyword in the location you're currently working with. So for example, if I'm tracking keywords in Google Bulgaria, I will see the SORP as a Bulgarian user. Now let's get back to the overview page. I mentioned before that at the top you have regions and tags for the keywords you're using, so you can analyze regions separately. For example, right now I'm looking at rankings in Bulgaria in general, and I can switch them to see rankings in Sofia, the capital of Bulgaria. Rankings here and keyword position distribution will be slightly different. Also, I can choose the tag and take a look at data just for the keywords related to candles, for example. So now in this list you will only see the keywords which are tagged with the candles tag, and you'll get information about those keywords. You can work with text in this drop-down menu, you can select few text at once, or you can remove all of them to get the initial results. If you want to change something about your project, you can go to settings and change the settings of your rank tracking project. You can add a competitor here, you can change the frequency of updates, and basically do anything you did when creating the project. And above the settings button, you can see the limits for your rank tracking. You can see how many keywords you are currently tracking across all of your projects and how many keywords you can track. So that's all there is to show about the overview page for keyword positions. Let's go to the menu on the left and see what we have here. First feature is history. By the name, you probably have guessed that this is where you can see the results as they are changing over time. At the top, you see the keyword position distribution graph as it was changing. And then you have information about the keywords. All of positions are color coded here, so if you rank for a keyword at the first place it will be dark green, second place slightly lighter green, and so on. Anything beyond top 20 will be bright yellow, and if you lose a keyword it will be in the red color. Below the keyword position distribution history you will see the keywords you are currently tracking and you will see the positions and how they are changing over time. At the top of the list you can change the time frame for which you are tracking the positions, for example you can see how the positions were changing in August. This is the information about the keywords for August. You can see that I don't have 31 positions here, because in August I was tracking these keywords once every three days. Therefore, I have information for 1st, 4th, 7th, and so forth. You can export this report, you can change the settings of your rank tracking, you can see the same positions for Bulgaria. You can also use tags and see the keyword positions for a certain part of your website. There isn't much to tell about the history, this is just for you to browse how your project is changing over time. So let's move on to the competitors feature. This is my favorite one in rank tracking. First thing you will see as you open the competitors feature is the traffic share for the keywords or market share distribution. Let me explain what this means. For this analysis we took all of the keywords you've added to your project and we analyzed the search volumes and positions which websites take for those keywords. The website at the top is the one that ranks for the highest number of keywords 
at the highest positions with the highest search volume or basically has the highest visibility within those keywords you've added to your project. This is where you can track if your website is improving its position overall or dropping. You don't have to check every keyword. You don't have to see if you improved positions for two keywords and lost one keyword. You improved position by 10 positions and lost another keyword by 15 positions. You don't have to worry about that. You can just take a look at your traffic share and if it's increasing, you're doing good. Again, you can change the region here. You can use tags to brought the traffic share for different keyword groups. I will change these to clocks and you will see the traffic share among all the websites will change and the positions will change as well. So you can see that for keywords related to candles that I have on my list, Wikipedia has the largest share still, but IKEA.bg have lost some positions here. In the history tab, you can browse this data and see how the market share distribution is changing for your website. For example, we can take a look at slava.bg and see that it had 5% of traffic share for those keywords. Then it dropped to 2.8%, then back again to 5% and then dropping in again. So what you want to see for your website is moving from the top to bottom. The ones at the bottom have the highest share of traffic for the keywords you're analyzing. With tags, you can analyze the progress of your website as a whole by using all of the keywords or just take a look at how it does in certain niches. For example, you are improving heavily on your pages related to mattresses. So you can go ahead and use this tag and see how your market share distribution looks like for mattresses. Let's see if we can find IKEA.bg here within the top 20 results. And here it is. We can see that we had 2.9% and today we have 2.57, so that doesn't look too good. Below the history graph, you see the list of keywords and you see the same information I've shown you before in the positions. When you click on the keyword, you can see how the positions for websites change over time and what websites rank for a keyword in top 20 results. Next tab here is the competitor changes. This is where you can see how the competitors' ranks are changing for the keywords you've added to your projects. You can see which competitors have improved their positions, which competitors have lost some positions, and which competitors are out of the list. If you can see that some of your competitors are constantly in this list, you have to go and check out and see what they're doing. So that's it about the competitors menu in rank tracking. You can use history to browse how your own project is growing and dropping, and you can also use it to create reports for your clients, if you do client SEO. Let's move on next to the landing pages. This is the last item on our menu for Rank Tracker. In the landing pages, you will see what pages rank for the keywords you are tracking and in what regions. For example, if you had two separate pages for different cities, you will see different pages ranking here for the same keyword for searches from different regions. You can also analyze your competitors in the same way. You can create a rank tracking project for any website, not just your own. You just have to get a website and a list of keywords to track. As any other report, you can export it, you can use tags. You cannot change region here because you will see information for every region you have in your rank tracking project anyways. And if you don't feel like creating a separate project for your competitors, you can add your competitors URL here and see how they are doing for the keyword you are interested in. So that's it about rank tracking, guys. I hope it was useful. In the next video, I will tell you about site audit, so don't miss it. Thank you for watching and have a great day.